best friend, Sarah. Hi, I'm Sarah. So you guys have been requesting this for so freaking long. I did do a story time on this beginning of summer break. So if you guys haven't seen that, I will link it below. And it is the story of how our dog was actually kidnapped out of her apartment by her <laughs> ex-roommate who is crazy. So Sarah was here in California for the summer when I was visiting family in Ohio. And I'm going to let her take it away momentarily. I'm just going to kind of backtrack though. So this is literally like Cruella DeVille, her <laughs> ex-roommate. So we all like had this dog. We were all like co-owners of this dog, right? Which is a little chihuahua. Her name is Bailey, and yes, she is back home safe. And thank you for the subscriber who actually sent me toys for Bailey in my P.O. box because oh. how freaking cute is that? Oh, I love I've been meaning that. To show you that. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, oh. you guys. So we actually do have her home safe, and we've been meaning to make a video with Bailey, but that's a whole other story in itself why she's not currently with us. She's at her boyfriend's house right now because they are currently in the process of moving apartments again. Mm. But anyways, we do actually have custody of her again. We have her back home safe, whatever. And it's a really, really freaking insane story of how we actually managed to get her back because she literally was stolen from us. So yeah, I'm gonna kinda let Sarah take it away from here. Okay, so <laughs> unfortunately, Allie wasn't here for any of this because like she said, she was in Ohio. They like, called me across the country. Yeah, so <laughs> what happened, well, Allie kinda briefed on this in the last video, but what happened is our dog was stolen, Bailey. She was taken from us in my apartment, in my home, and by my insane roommate, Colleen, right <laughs> basically what happened is she stole her and we were torn up for a week and a half we did not have Bailey looking for her everywhere we called every single vet every single um dog place any anything that like would give us any indication of where Bailey was if someone had her or whatever so we were searching for her non-stop we made posters everything looking for her like crazy and so after like a week of really trying to find Bailey, it was like an impossible situation because like we lost hope eventually. We really did because like we looked everywhere. I called Allie as soon as it happened, bawling my eyes out on the phone. Like Allie, Bailey's gone. I told her what happened. Allie's freaking out across. She's over in Ohio. This girl <laughs> like has nothing. She's not able to do anything other than make a video and reach out to people, which honestly really helped. And thank you guys so much for watching that. Thank you so and much. <laughs> because that was awesome. Um, but it really helps because everyone in Reading saw that and everyone in Reading knows that that's our dog. Bailey is well known. We have a lot of friends in Reading, a lot of people who support us and everything. And Bailey's, you know, very well known. Everybody loves her. She's a sweetheart. So everyone knows that that's our dog. Everyone watched the video and was very upset about it. Calling Allie throughout all of this, <laughs> trying to see if maybe she had any other idea of like where we could look or anything. But like I said, we ran out of options eventually. I was so upset. This dog is my life. She's she's our baby. We had her since day one. Like she, we rescued her basically. We rescued her from a very bad home. You know, we took care of her, we gave her everything she needed. She was so loved, so taken care of, and everything was going great. But, you know, my roommate took her and everything, so I, we were out of hope at that point. We looked everywhere, and we couldn't find her anywhere. And this girl is so insane. She is so insane. Like, we could not find her, and we would actually call her, and we would try to text her, call her, everything. She wouldn't answer our calls, and then eventually she answered and said that she had the dog and did not want to give her to us that she took the dog because she didn't want us to have her and that right there is <laughs> yeah way too much to even like comprehend and so she knew where she was and we didn't know what to do so what we first did at first is we found out like we did some detective research on this we literally <laughs> like we went deep into it so not only did we go to the police which i'll get into that but we also um showed up the first thing we did is we found out where cheyenne was staying the friend of colleen who she was staying with we found her address online like like i said we're doing some insane detective work like we found her address online we found every information about her oh and guess what her name her friend's name was Katy perry yeah. so you know how many people came up in the system were trying to look for a Katy perry i looked up Katy perry redding california and i found like events of Katy perry like like, when she's coming to town, concerts, it, so it was impossible. It took like an hour to finally found this girl's address. And we found like three different Katy Perrys. So we found like actual people and we had to go to like three addresses before we actually found her. So we're, we're driving all over town looking for her, everywhere looking for her. We finally found her. We showed up at her house and we're like, hey, her, her dad actually answered the door. And so when her dad answered the door, we're like, hey, like, I'm sorry, this is a weird situation. Like, you know, and Colleen, she's very good at lying. So she has told a bunch of lies, a pack of lies to whoever she's staying with about how awful we are, about how we're bad dog owners, whatever. 
I can't even imagine what she lied about because she lies about a lot. So probably some insane stuff to make <laughs> the parents not want anything to do with us. So when we went there, the dad answered the door. He said he had no idea what we were talking about. We asked where the dog was. He said he has no idea. He said he hasn't heard a dog here, but he'll ask Colleen and try to see where the dog is. And so we were like, all right, thank you. We're being super polite and very, you know, grateful for him actually talking to us and like letting us know. And an hour later, Colleen calls us and says, you better not show up at that house again or I'll call the police. And right then and there, we were like, we were like, no, you can't call the police when you kidnapped our dog. So she's getting everything twisted right now, telling everybody lies. This is why, you know, she thought that, like, you know, she could call the police and they'd be on her side or whatever. Which, you know, I've already talked to the police and that's not the case. She literally had this whole idea that it would all be okay and we went to the house. She was hiding in the back room because she was afraid to see us. So she was there the entire time. She was hiding from us. And... She would not go to the door or anything. Cause so she, she knew where Bailey was this entire time and she was just hiding because she's a coward. Yeah. And she knew that that was wrong to do and it wasn't her dog, that she literally stole our dog from us. So Right. That's so, crazy. Like, come on. <laughs> like, that's psychotic. That I'm insane. sorry. That's insane. <laughs> so she knew she messed up and she would not face her problem. So therefore, we had to go and do it. We had to show up at the house. The guy was like, I'm sorry, I have no idea what you're talking about. Like, I'll take down your number and I'll call you if anything comes out. Of course, he didn't call us because Colleen, you know probably told him a whole bunch of things like whatever it's not true like Sarah does this Ali does this blah 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 like a whole bunch of lies that I don't even know what she was lying about probably some insane stuff to make him not want to ever call us and tell us where the dog is so after we showed up there and she went on saying and she offered to call the police that's when I was like I'm gonna call the police if she's gonna go that far to say she's gonna call the police I'm gonna call the police I want my dog back that is our baby. That is like our child. We want our dog. So I called the police and the police said that because she doesn't have a chip in her, which I didn't know that was a thing, honestly. I, I didn't either. <laughs> I've had dogs my entire life. I never knew chips and dogs was an indication to find them. I didn't know that. So when we went and called the police, they asked us, the first question they asked is if she had a chip. And we of course said no, because we didn't know that that you know, was even a thing. And then, so right then and there, he was like, I'm so sorry. I know this situation is hard, but there is nothing I can do for you if she doesn't have a chip because there is no way that we're going to be able to find her. She could be anywhere at this point. Right then and there, that's when we were like, we're done. We gave up a hope. We were, God, so upset, like so heartbroken. Oh my God. She wasn't even eating like the whole week. Yeah, I, it was pretty bad. Uh, my boyfriend, Aaron, who, you know, he's part, um, He's like part of the co owner. Yeah, people. yeah. yeah we all went on and got this dog. Right, so we all went in on this dog together. So Aaron's been a big part of it, my boyfriend. And he was trying to convince me to eat for like a week and I couldn't because I felt so sick to my stomach of just like hurt and like nervousness and stress. And I wasn't sleeping. Like I would call Allie and like just be like, I don't know what to do because I couldn't eat. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't do anything. I was so torn up. It was a really hard situation for me and I was looking everywhere. I thought to myself, I was like, okay, Colleen is insane and everybody <laughs> knows this girl is insane. Everybody knows this. So therefore, when she was staying with us for the short time that she was staying with us, she really did not have any friends. She had the one girl who she was staying at her house with. Katy Perry. Shit. Katy yeah. Perry, right. She, um, she had that friend. And other than that, she literally had no friends because everybody knew she was insane. Everybody would come up to us and tell us, like, this girl has problems, like, she's super And Sarah rude, and I were so up. nice. We're like, oh, she's cool. Yeah, like, it's fine. we stuck up for her the whole time. We were, we're like, wrong. No, it's okay. <laughs> Clearly, we were wrong. And that really stunk because we, we were proven wrong way too late. Way too late is when we found out that she was actually crazy. So that's when we thought to ourselves, okay, this is a good step because we know that she doesn't have any friends. We know she has no one to ask, hey, will you watch this dog? Knowing that is when we knew she definitely gave the dog to someone we knew. The way we actually found Bailey is we went after finding out everyone who we were friends with. And at that point, we were already heartbroken. So we were like, all right, let's have a few friends over and we're just gonna try to like forget about it for one night. After a week and a half of bawling my eyes out, nonstop, not being able to eat or sleep, we we're like, let's have a few friends over. So. When we had a few friends over, we asked everyone, you know, if they knew where Bailey was or any information about it. And there, my one really good friend, Julie, she's she's a saint. She's amazing. I'm so happy she's my friend because she honestly saved my life in this situation. But she had a younger sister, a younger sister named Isabel. We'll call her, I guess. Whatever. Isabel. <laughs> Isabel. 
and her the younger sister and her boyfriend Craig will say I guess I don't know we'll call him Craig and they have been over our house a lot and they're really good friends with my roommate Sam Sam who was dating Colleen Sam who wants nothing to do with Colleen now absolutely not after this whole situation but they've been over a lot and we've talked about the situation they've seen us upset they've seen us crying they've seen us go through absolute hell for this dog and it they came over and this blows my mind still because they came over a lot and they never said anything about the dog but the whole time Colleen asked Isabel if she wanted the dog and Isabel is a 16 year old girl she's very young Craig the boyfriend he's 20 something he's older so he is dating this like 16 year old girl you know um still in high school still living with her parents and so she asked her if she if she wanted the dog without telling us and at that point she said yes she said she wanted the dog and she took the dog and her parents didn't want her to have the dog so she was keeping Bailey in a shed in her backyard in a shed for a week and a half she wasn't eating it and I don't know if you guys know where Redding is, but Redding is hot. Redding is like 110 degrees like daily. And like this summer, it's been boiling hot. In a shed, this little dog is needs to be taken care of. She literally is spoiled. Should we spoil her? And she went from that to being in a shed. She was so scared. When Julie found her, Julie, because Julie came to me and was like, listen, I know where the dog is. You know, Isabel had the dog and that her parents said she couldn't have it. So she was hiding her in the shed. And when she was hiding her in the shed, she said that she's never seen Bailey that way. Because Bailey is an outgoing dog. She's super happy all the time. And she's very, you know, she's an excited dog. She's very happy, very good. She said she's never seen anything like it. This Bailey would not eat. She would not eat. She wouldn't sleep. She was shivering the whole time. She was scared. She was cuddled in a corner of the shed in the boiling heat. And she would only give her water, you know, ever so often. But Bailey was too scared to eat. She wouldn't eat her food. Julie said that she was not eating, not drinking water, not doing anything. So she hasn't eaten in a week and a half. And then so Julie said, when she gave it to, when she told me about this, I started bawling my eyes out. I was so happy. First thing I did, I called Allie over in Ohio, told her about it. And Julie was like, I'm going to get your dog back. I'm going to bring her back tomorrow. Because Julie had no idea. Julie did not know any of this. Because it's a sensitive topic for me to talk about. So I'm not going to bring it up right when I see her. So the whole time she thought that I was okay with giving it to Isabel. She thought I was in on it. She thought she knew. Yeah. Like it was a group decision. When really Colleen just snuck her out of the apartment. Right. So, and people don't know that. Because like I said, Colleen is very good at lying and manipulating people. So... Julie told me, she was like, all right, I am getting your dog back. I am going to get your dog back. I'll bring her back tomorrow. And at first, at this point, after not seeing her for a week and a half, I have been so, I, I really don't believe that any hope is going to come out of this. So I was like, all right, yeah, whatever. Maybe she'll bring her back, whatever. I don't even know who to trust at this point because Isabel did not have, Isabel lied to my face. <laughs> Our friend just came into the apartment. Sorry for the. This is Sam. Sam, come, no, come here. Absolutely not. And so the next day, she brought her over. I started bawling my eyes out. I have never been so happy in my life. It was amazing. She brought her over. She took her back from where um, Isabel was keeping her. She stole her from the kidnapper. Yeah, she stole her back from the kidnapper. Thank. <laughs> So happy I have Julie in my life. And then when Julie brought her home, Sarah was like in shock because oh. Bailey was so skinny because she literally had not been eating for like a week and a half or so. But of course she ate when she was at Sarah's house because that that's her mommy, you know, that's her, those are her parents. Like she was familiar with all of them and everything. And so she was really happy to be back home. And the reason why she's not in this video right now, we are going to wait to actually film this video with Bailey, but she's currently at Aaron, her boyfriend's parents house because uh it's a long story but they're actually switching apartments right now and so yeah. they have to wait to get like a pet deposit and all that but if you guys do want to see a video with our little happy chihuahua bailey then be sure to leave a comment down below and give this video a thumbs up letting us know that because we definitely can we can do like a doggy olympics or something it'd be fun oh that would be so cute i would love to do a video with bailey she's only been gone for like two weeks and we're gonna get her back in the next week when we move but it's just the whole moving process and everything but she's doing great, she's eating, she's healthy now, she's doing amazing, and this girl Colleen is nowhere to be seen, she knows not to ever come around here, you know, she has the police not on her side, she has no one on her side right now, so 
It's she really messed up. So. And thank you for everyone who reached out asking if Bailey was okay, if we did actually get Bailey back, because I'm sorry I kind of left you guys hanging for a couple months because I wanted to actually be with Sarah to make this video just because I wasn't technically there for all of this. I was in Ohio. So Sarah, you know, was calling me and keeping me up to date and whatnot. But yeah, we're finally here and we will include Bailey in a future video if you guys would like to see more of her because she is healthy, she's happy, and honestly, it was like by the grace of God that we managed to get her back yeah. because that was a scary situation. Absolutely. So you guys rock hashtag find Bailey 2016. Yes. I wanted to like kind of close this out for you guys and I feel bad because a lot of my story times I feel like I don't really give you guys a you know third video or conclusion story whatever second video depending on the, you know the series like the catfish story time that's still a mystery but Bailey we actually <laughs> did manage to get her back so I wanted to let you guys know so we have some closure on the situation. Seriously thank you everyone for your awesome yes. support and everything that you guys did for me on social media because spreading awareness is like one of the few things I feel like you can do in a situation like that so that really did help me out so so much and yeah again if you guys like this video if you want more of Bailey please give it a thumbs up shout out to Sarah for like basically doing this whole story time for me today because you know she's a natural here on camera <laughs> you guys rock all right <laughs> don't Thank forget you. to subscribe and uh yeah I put out new videos every Monday and Friday and as well as other times throughout the week randomly I do story times rants Q and A's and a lot of other miscellaneous content if you guys want more of Sarah be sure to comment because look at her she's super cute but she's oh. also taken so <laughs> <laughs> Don't get at that. I love you guys so much. <laughs> Follow my social media. I will Bye. link it below. And I'll see you in the next video. Later, alligators. Bye. We came to school with a bunch of brownies, but we were already getting low at this point because, you know, everyone wants to be your best friend and eat the brownies, and some people want like two or three and keep coming back for more. So we made a bunch for that purpose.